Hello and welcome to a tour of Notion Task Manager. In this video, I will show you how to use the template, its features, and how it can be used to manage your everyday tasks. Before getting started, this template is free and can be downloaded by clicking on the link in the description below. But in the meantime, here's how to use it. Tasks can be categorized into broader areas of life. Each area added will display the total number of tasks assigned to that area. Simply click on an area to see the list of outstanding tasks. To add a new area, click the Add New button and then give the area a name. You can also change the default icon to better represent the area you have just created. Tasks can be added directly within the Areas page by clicking the Add Task button. Let's add a new task, for example. This task will now appear in the Tasks database below, where we can add further detail. All new and current tasks will appear on the Tasks database. We can then add subtasks to those that can be broken down into smaller tasks. This task manager utilizes the Eisenhower matrix and will order tasks by their importance and urgency so that you don't have to think about prioritization. We also have columns for assigning tasks to an area, setting a deadline or duration, and a checkbox for completion. Let's now add some further detail to the task we just created. As you can see, the order of tasks change as our new task takes priority over the less important ones. As we have already added an area, let's now assign a date for completion. And let's also add a couple subtasks to break this somewhat broader task into smaller steps. To add subtasks, simply click the drop down and then add new sub item. There is no limit to the amount of subtasks you can add, so let's add a couple for example. We can then add further detail to our subtasks just like with regular tasks. In addition to this prioritization feature, we can still sort our tasks by those that are due today, those that are upcoming, and those that have already been completed, simply by navigating the tabs at the top of the database. Let's check off our newly added tasks as being complete and notice how they move from the today and upcoming tabs to now the completed tab. And if you happen to check off a task by mistake, simply navigate to the completed tab and uncheck the completion box. The task will then reappear back into your inbox. As we complete tasks that have been assigned to an area, the progress bars displayed on each of the areas will begin to fill until it has reached 100% and the total tasks displayed will be zero. Lastly, let's check out the timeline calendar. The timeline will show all upcoming tasks and lets us modify each task by dragging and dropping them around, even allowing us to change the task duration. We can view subtasks by clicking on the drop down buttons and can even create new subtasks directly from the timeline. Any changes made to tasks within the timeline will automatically update the tasks within the inbox and vice versa. I hope you found this video useful. Once again, you can download this template for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.